A hunter's rights bill that's advancing in Congress would ease some regulations on, on hunting on federal lands. But the firearms language in the bill is drawing fire from gun control groups. Washington Bureau reporter Trevor Fay was there for the congressional hearing before the bill heads to the House floor. It's supposed to be about hunters' rights. But critics of the SHARE Act say it's little more than a cover to deregulate sales of armor-piercing bullets and silencers, and they refuse to remain silent at a House hearing today. Should silencers be removed from the NFA, individuals unable to pass a background check would be able to obtain these dangerous weapons through unregulated private sales on the Internet and at gun shows. Chipman, a former agent with the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms, was supported by Arizona Congressman Raul Grijalva, who said Chipman was being disregarded due to the influence of gun manufacturers. You know, I, I find it curious that we all love cops, Mr. Chipman, and then the minute a career law enforcement officer comes to this committee and tells us what we are doing in this legislation is dangerous for public safety, suddenly that credibility is lost. But supporters of the SHARE Act say it will let law-abiding hunters protect their hearing with silencers and preserve the culture of American hunters. <laughs> Representative Ruben Gallego was dubious about that claim. How is this actually going to help hunters in terms of being able to be going through the woods if, you know, you have, you know, people having suppressors essentially on their, on their rifles? Uh, and, 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 and I just don't understand what is the logic somehow that this is going to bring safety to, to hunters. Attorney Stephen Halbrook says that it is easy to make silencers and that criminals will not be dissuaded from using them simply because of federal regulation. In Washington, Trevor Fay, Cronkite News. Congress is moving ahead with a plan tonight to manage the bison population up at the Grand Canyon. A House committee approved the Grand Canyon Bison Management Act this morning. The bill was introduced in June by Arizona Representative Paul Gosar. It would allow licensed hunters to help call the bison population at Grand Canyon National Park. Bison were introduced north of the canyon in the 1920s, but they have started moving into the northern rim where they can't be hunted. There are currently about 600 bison. The goal is to reduce that number to about 200. Arizona's bald eagle population continues to soar. During the breeding season this year, 82 baby eagles hatched. That's a record number. Last year, only 79 birds were born. In Arizona, there are 85 breeding sites, which include two new ones this year. The Arizona Game and Fish Department estimates there are 67 bald eagle breeding pairs in the state. That's up from 11 in 1978 when the bird was listed as endangered.